Donald Trump denying reports today that he regrets signing an executive order last week ending family separations for those caught crossing into the U.S. illegally. Here's what the U.S. president had to say. The executive order was great. It was uh, something that I felt we had to do. Uh, we want children staying together. In fact, I was saying yesterday before I read this phony story in the New York Times that, uh, that I was very, very happy that I signed that. Over the weekend, amid more protests, Trump said on Twitter that people who enter the U.S. illegally should be sent back to where they came from immediately without any judicial process. The president seemingly doubling down on that push today. We want a system where when people come in illegally, they have to go out. Currently, undocumented immigrants are allowed a full hearing in most cases. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services releasing new video today sharing a look inside a government tent city in Texas for children suspected of illegal border crossings. While Trump signed that executive order last week ending the controversial policy of family separations, more than 2,000 immigrant children are still waiting to be reunited with their families. Today, Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis confirming the U.S. military is preparing to house immigrants at two bases in Texas. We'll provide whatever support the Department of Homeland Security needs. The numbers obviously are dynamic, so we'll have to stay uh, flexible in our logistics support. The U.S. Supreme Court making news today for what it won't be doing. Justices declining to hear the appeal case involving Brendan Dassey, whose story was part of the popular Netflix series Making a Murderer. Dassey was 16 when he confessed to Wisconsin authorities that he helped his uncle, Stephen Avery, in the rape and murder of Teresa Hallback in 2005. Dassey's lawyers argued he's borderline intellectually disabled and was manipulated by police into confessing. Now 28, Dassey has served 12 years of a life sentence. The Supreme Court did not explain its decision, something that's not uncommon, a second season of Making a Murderer is in the works.